Andy, first and foremost, we're building up to our first game here in Austria against Besiktas tonight, and I suppose for you and all the players, it's a, a kind of an exciting prospect to be playing against a club like that, I guess. Yeah, exactly. It's a big team. Uh, they're going to bring a lot of experience. It's going to be a tough test for us, but that's what you want in pre-season. You want to test yourself. Like last week, played Fulham. Mm. Premier League side, very good, but we had a good compact shape against them and come away with a draw for pre-season, which is good. And we just want to build on that uh, tonight against the game against Besiktas. Mm. You mentioned there. You mentioned the Fulham game in particular. I guess was that a bit of a confidence boost, really? After kind of, I know that there was fatigue probably in the first couple of games, and that, but the results, yeah. people do build confidence off the back of results. And that Fulham game was not just a result, but a good performance too. Yeah, yeah. Like you say, the first few games we're still sort of building into it, getting the manager's tactics down and understanding them properly, um, associating them with our, with our team and the players getting used to it. And then you could see that in the Fulham game that everyone's now uh, buying in and. Um, getting the ideas that the manager wants and it uh, paid off for the draw against Fulham. Mm -hmm. And by the time that tonight's game kicks off, you'll have had a few sessions here in Austria and stuff, the manager, as you say, will be getting a philosophy across. And, uh, but you'll be playing against a team that have got you know, a, a bit something different to offer, which will be really important to can't at this stage of the season. Yeah, no, exactly like you say, but um, if we just do our thing and then um, obviously that will help us against big teams like that who have players that can hurt you in that sense, but obviously we, we as a team will um, work together and overcome that. Mm. And, and the sort of foreign opposition in particular can be, can be tricky because their philosophy might be different, their style, and they kind of pose a bit of a different threat, can't they, to, like, to maybe what you'd be used to in England, you know, whatever division it comes from. Yeah, that's another a good reason to be testing against these sides because you never know what you're going to come against in the Championship. Different managers come over, bring mm. different foreign philosophies. And um, so it's something you might not be used to, but doing these games will hopefully give you an idea of what they're about and make you ready for any tests like that in the future. Mm. And philosophy is a, a, a word we use often during pre-season, uh, not just for other clubs, but actually mostly about ourselves, really. And the manager, he's clearly trying to stamp his authority on what he wants the team to do. And I'm, I'm sure he's getting his message across, across loud and clear, isn't he? Yeah, that's what these first uh, couple of weeks have been about. I mean, you couldn't really do it at the end of last season where the situation we really didn't have much time, but these first few weeks of pre-season is really trying to get some philosophy across, like you say, and now the players are understanding that and it's paying off in games. Mm. Yeah, and on a personal note too, that must be really good as well to kind of work closely, be again involved in pre-season and hopefully build towards, you know, try and get into that first team as often as you can this season coming, because I see last year was a, a bit of a breakthrough, I'm sure you'd like to smash it down this year and, and really get involved. Yeah, yeah, it's always good to be training with the uh, first team lads, it, like, just learning off them each and every day, working with um, uh, the manager and his uh, technical staff is always uh, uh, helpful to myself getting better and pushing on to where I want to be in the future. So, <coughs> yeah, it's always good in that sense and then just keep working towards like, my goals and like you say, just hopefully trying to break in and stamp a uh, place for myself this season. Yeah, and lastly as well, I wanted to talk a little bit about the, the players who joined us here. You know, we've got bought four new faces in. Uh, there's people like David Myler as well, who's, who's in that kind of central midfield role. I'm sure we'll be able to kind of teach you a little bit about, about that position too. Must be uh, hopefully everyone's stepping well and you're getting on really well with everyone. Yeah, no, all the lads that come in, have, uh, everyone, they've all been very welcome, they've all fitted in really well, get along with the lads. And like you say, like, um, people like David Myler bringing in a bit more experience from the Premier League, and he's the same with John O'Shea. Mm. They've both done it, and uh, hopefully they're just passing that experience to us now.